hello friends uh, in this video which is a, which is one of the part of our series of scikit learn 0.22's latest releases and what are the new things uh, that has been introduced which is very fresh in scikit learn 0.22 the latest version so here we are discussing in short here you see one of the most important thing that we see here is ROC AUC curve now support multi class classification initial my earlier videos you might have seen that I the, the, there was a new plotting API ROC AUC curve plot precision recall plot confusion matrix plot that was the completely new again uh, they are doing uh, the next thing is that ROC AUC question ROC AUC curve now support multi class classification initial it only supported two classes so this is a very fresh and very needed thing here you see the ROC AUC score function that has been introduced can also be used in multi class classification two averaging strategies are currently supported the one versus one algorithm computes the average of the pairwise ROC AUC scores and the one versus rest algorithm computes the averages of the ROC AUC scores for each class against all other classes that is the methodology we are going to calculate in multi class so in both cases the multi class ROC AUC scores are computed from the probability estimates that a sample belongs to a particular class according to the model the OVO one versus uh, other and OVR one versus uh, sorry OVO one versus one and the OVR one versus rest algorithm support weighting uniformity average equal to macro and weighting by the prevalence that is average equal to vector now let's go to the code just I imported the from sklearn.data set import make classification just to make a classification kind of data that is a function that helps you to make a data set for your practice. From sklearn.svm import svc that is support vector classify classification. From sklearn.matrix import roc auc score that is the new function. Now just run one by one. Now I make classification number of classes four. By default it may gives you 100, 100 data, 100 rows of data. You see you put number of classes four so it will give you four classes that can be classified now I made to make input and output X and Y now we use the function SVC decision underscore function underscore shape that you can define OVO one versus one probability true dot fit input output I give it a name CLF now I use the function ROC AUC score so under the print ROC AUC score Y CLF that is the clf dot predict underscore proba that is for the input predict remember predict under underscore proba does didn't get you the exact result whether it is going to the class 1 class 2 or class 3 rather it gives you the probability for all the possible classes that is available so if multi class here four classes so it will give probability for all the classes and what you do you choose the one which has the highest probability here I give multi class OVO one versus one so I just run it and that is the ROC score that is 0.99 so this is how we are using ROC AUC code ROC AUC for multi class so this is the code you can get the code sheet in the videos description Friends, we run Institute DexLab Analytics. You can join our various courses. Some are the most advanced courses of machine learning and deep learning. We claim that they are the best. So, for any inquiry, please visit our website www.dexlabanalytics.com. Thank you very much.